Friends, today is Monday, the 26th of October. 26th of October, it's a beautiful sunny day. A little cold out there, it's my day off, so I'm back in my room and we'll take a look at uh, the Gospel for today from the Gospel of Luke. It's one of those stories, a healing story, a miracle story that uh, Ultimately, it's very satisfying. Jesus, who is the healer, the Salvator, the Savior, the salve. He is the salve and the healing that comes to us. And he applies that to a woman who has suffered from a crippling disease for 18 years. 18 years. Jesus, in the synagogue, takes the initiative. It says Jesus was teaching in a synagogue, which was typical of him on the Sabbath day. He would attend the synagogue, even as we attend church, he would attend the synagogue, and oftentimes he would do teaching there. He would be invited to teach. And it says that in the synagogue was a woman, a woman who had been crippled by a spirit crippled by his spirit. She was bent over, completely incapable of standing erect. And you know, we have seen people who suffer from those debilitating illnesses, diseases, and um, other crippling diseases who are unable to stand and how difficult life is for them. Jesus sees this woman and immediately has pity upon her. When Jesus saw her, he called to her and said, Woman, you are set free from your infirmative. You are set free. In the passive voice, indicating that God is working through Jesus, God, who cares for everyone, and especially those who suffer. And, of course, uh, you would expect people to be thrilled and pleased, and probably most people in the synagogue were, that this woman, this woman whom they knew, no doubt, and for so many years had been suffering, and now she stands, and she stands erect, and she gives glory to God. But someone, someone is not happy about this. And, of course, it was the leader, <coughs> the leader of the synagogue, not pleased at all. And the reason, it's the Sabbath. And one is not to work on the Sabbath. And this person says rather sternly, come and be healed on the other six days, not on the Sabbath. And Jesus, of course, challenges the leader. Everybody must have been observing at this point, watching Jesus versus the leader of the synagogue. What is he going to say? What is the leader of the synagogue going to say? And how will Jesus respond? Everyone knew the Sabbath limitations. And what Jesus does is argue from the lesser to the greater, because some things were, well, maybe not explicitly, but this is the way people acted. If you had an animal on the Sabbath that needed water, and here, what does it say, an ox or an ass, do you not let it go from the manger and take it to get some water? How much more than this daughter of Abraham, who has suffered for 18 years, that she too should be given this salve, this water, this healing. And Jesus, of course, we learned before, Jesus is the Lord of the Sabbath. <clears throat> Jesus acts on the Sabbath. <clears throat> and of course, the Sabbath laws go back to creation itself, where God, after working for six days on the Sabbath, he rested. But now Jesus is the new creation, the old creation behind Jesus, the new creation. And in this new creation, Jesus is Savior, 
no matter what day it is, if someone is in need, he is there. And Jesus, of course, gives the perfect example, which all the people could understand, that, well, yes, if we have an animal, we take care of it. Animals are very valuable. If you need water, even on the Sabbath, in other words, Jesus does not let Sabbath laws and other kind of scrupulosity get in the way when a person is in need, because this is why he came to bring liberty to captives. The reference to the Sabbath also is a kind of a distant reference to the Exodus, where the Israel Israelites were saved from their slavery and bondage and brought out to the, into the freedom of the promised land. And here we have a woman caught and bound with this infirmity, and Jesus frees her. Once Jesus, of course, gives his explanation, it says, when he said this, all his adversaries were humiliated, and the people saw that the scrupulosity of the leader of the synagogue who would not care for this poor woman. They were humiliated. And Jesus, of course, wins that argument. What is most important, of course, is not winning anything, but showing the love and the care of God for all, no matter when it is. And the crowd, it says, rejoiced, rejoiced at all the splendid deeds he had done. You know, we refer to Jesus as Savior, as the Salvatore, Salvatore, the Italian, the Latin, and uh, the word Savior coming from the word salve, healing, a healing balm. Jesus brings that healing to us, no matter what day it is, no matter who we are. Jesus is there to say. With that, we too rejoice. We rejoice for that woman. We rejoice for all people who have received God's healing. Hold that thought, and we'll see you tomorrow.